This is where all the music happens. I have the music man himself in Winnipeg, John Scholes. Times change. This is the place for music. Breakout West, home sweet home. How is it going? It's fantastic, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. everybody's wrong. Now we got the Sojourners playing back there, but you know what, John? I mean, just like, I guess your take on, like, I guess a festival like this, and of course the Western Canadian Music Awards happening great opportunity for people to see and hear a whole pile of stuff and the way they've set up the festival with bands playing twice different venues you got an opportunity to not only check out the artists you got an opportunity to check out the music rooms themselves so we're obviously pretty happy about that so this weekend is pretty big on a whole but John I mean Times Change is, is an institution you're you've opened your doors to so many musicians I guess what is the landscape like for music bigger better than ever it Live seems music. so. Yeah. It seems so. The uh, the changeover to uh, the um, Liquor and Gaming Authority has been great. Yeah. Uh, they've been really supportive of, of things like this. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think it's a pretty exciting time. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, we just keep rocking along as we have for years and years. What the that could. Yeah. How come it's still here and how come it's just like it's bigger and better than ever? I'd like to think it has something to do with my Culture Not Condo <laughs> sign up there. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that's hurt. <laughs> yeah, we have had a really good relationship with the city and uh, and, and the fans and, and, you know, all the various bodies of, who are putting on all sorts of music events. Like, we're, we're friendly and uh, they're friendly too. Yeah. We take care of the artists. If you take care of the artists, then you're going to have a great experience for the fans and a great experience for yourself. Awesome. Let's go in and party. All right. John Scholes, time's changed. Thank you. <laughs> Eatery. I've got Mike here and how has the weekend been going for Breakout West? Fantastic. We've had uh, a lot of good music here. Uh, a lot of a lot of people came out to see uh, some acts that are not really that local, uh, which is what we do here at Moz. Uh, a lot of local talent as well as uh, traveling bands. <laughs> Well, it's really exciting. It's an awesome honor. Uh, the The album was kind of a decision to make music that wasn't trying to be in a specific genre. It was it was really an attempt to make music that I found interesting. So to be nominated is is really an, uh, a great endorsement of of that decision. So so yeah, I'm really uh, really honored and pleased and yeah, very happy. I go around with a portable recorder and just kind of record sounds that I find interesting and uh, then I use my editing software to make loops and make rhythms and uh, make musical elements out of, out of these kind of everyday sounds. Uh, I have a background in uh, sound for film and so taking my love of electronic music and, and kind of slapping my, my background in sound for film uh, made sense. The, the horn playing is, you know, just something that I've, uh, I played horn in uh, high school jazz band, so, um, yeah, it's something I wanted to keep up, and it's, it's a Cuban album, so, I mean, the, the Cuban trumpet players are amazing. Your take on electronic pop music, where is it going to go? Ooh, well, it's, it's certainly become a lot more mainstream, it's, uh, it's received a level of 
popularity that it that it I don't think it ever really has before. So so it's uh, opening a lot of new people up to electronic music, which is which is great. And uh, you know it's gonna cause more diversity in the genre and uh, more cross pollination and more great music. Why you know open up your venue for something like this? Uh, well, I think it's something that the exchange has really been begging for. Uh, there's been a lot of nightclubs that have gone through this building before, and uh, we're happy to bring a little more culture, a little more art into this uh, community. Uh, I have to say that all the residents in the neighborhood have really enjoyed what we've done with the space, and uh, yeah, we've, uh, we've had a really good time uh, so far, and things are just looking up. people kind of call it like what country was or what it was meant to be you know and some people call it folk you know it's too too folk for the country people and too country for the folky people it's kind of a different way of writing songs and a different way of singing songs the whole story storytelling fashion you know it's just the way I, I see the world I'm just trying to present what I see in, in through the, my songs My music is, you know, to be honest, very simple and it's very basic and it's, I think at the core it's something that everybody can relate to. I have very young people who enjoy my music and I have very old people who enjoy it too. Like it spans all uh, generations I find and just, be, just because of its honesty and its simplicity, you know. Uh, I don't know if my music's always going to be this way, but right now it is and it's, it feels good. Why? It's great. These things are always good. We've done two of these in the past two weeks. We we're just down in Nashville and did Americana Festival down there. And then we did a couple shows and drove straight back up here from, New, uh, from Nebraska. But it's, these things are always really great. They're, they're just a hub of creativity and, and energy. Uh, it's just like, you, there's ten, not tension, but it's, it's tense in the air. You can feel it because there's all these creative minds and, and people doing what they do. And you just kind of feed off one another, you know? Um, so it's, it makes for interesting times. And it's definitely a treat just to be a part of it. Like it's, it's really cool. This is the first ever. I would never think Red Penner on stage at the pyramid. At the pyramid. But you were like a rock star. It's a new career. I'm starting a whole new plan. Well, you know what? This whole Hall of Fame thing has gone to your head. Yeah, yeah, apparently, apparently. So, yeah, I mean, exactly. Not, you know, honored this year, Hall of Famer. But I, I could not get over the crowd here. Everybody knew your songs. I mean. We, well, this time, it's, it, it, these are these are the original Fred heads, you see. These are these are the ones who grew up with me. And I, and as I've been doing the campuses from coast to coast, this is the kind of energy that I've been dealing with. I'm so totally chuffed and overwhelmed. With it. What's it's, the it's really secret? Beautiful. Well, just stay in it long enough, and it's bound to come back. <laughs> you know. No, this is unreal. Although tonight, yeah. though, you said something very special. You know, get the Twitter out of your life. Well, I'm I'm a little concerned. You know, I, and I'm trapped in it as well. You know, but but we we do need to find a balance in our world and and uh, and, and get away from the, some of the technology and 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 start dialoguing with each other because there's a lot of crap that's going on that we really should be standing up for and making our voices heard and and I, th I think the generation sort of forgets that they really do have a voice and you know what a festival like this breakout west and the western canada music awards here in winnipeg music is the voice don't you think well that's uh, yeah clearly i mean this is this is the year of music in in, uh, in manitoba and, it's, uh, and Winnipeg has such talented, talented people. And with the Western Canadian group coming together, it, it's really awesome. I mean, we, we should be very, very proud of the talent that we have in this country and especially in this side of the world. And we're so proud of you, Fred. Dear, dear. Fred